ArchiCAD 18 offers several new settings for messaging and teamwork. This video clip will familiarize you with the improvements in creating new teamwork messages and attaching the current view together with its settings to your message. We can see Jake's ArchiCAD floor plan on the screen now. He's working together with Smith and a team that's using teamwork. Let's zoom in on a column and select the column with the marquee. Right-click on the selection and choose the Show Selection Marquee in 3D command from the Context menu. This will open the 3D window with the marked model part. Zoom in on the model. On the left side of the screen, we can find the Teamwork palette. To create a new message, select Smith from the Users panel by right-clicking and choose the Send Message command from the pop-up list. The New Message dialog appears. When clicking the To button, we can alternatively select other users as well. In our example, we'll select Smith only. Let's go back to the Message field and type in the issue. By selecting the Capture View button, we can add the current 3D view to our message. Furthermore, we can exchange this view for another one if needed. To do this, simply select the new 3D view, click Remove View on the Message dialog, and then click the Capture View button. Notice, all Teamwork message types are now modeless. This means that the palette stays on the screen so you can continue your work in the model while also working on a message. Before sending your message, you can optionally add a task button so that the recipient's copy will contain not only the message you typed, but also the specified command button in order to facilitate a quick response. By clicking the optional task pop-up in the New Message dialog box, we can select different tasks to assign to the message. Let's choose None now and click the Send button. Switching to Smith's screen, we can see that he's working on another part of the model now. When he receives the message from Jake, a message alert appears at the bottom left corner of his screen. Notice, all message type notifications, not just high priority, will remain on the screen until dismissed. Clicking on the Message Alert opens the Received Message dialog. The message can now be read, and by clicking the Apply View button, Smith can navigate the model to the saved 3D view. When clicking the Restore View button, we can return to the previous working area independently of working in 2D or 3D. In our example, Smith has addressed the issue, so it no longer requires action by him. The corresponding message can be moved into another folder. Let's select Jake's message in the Messages panel, right-click, and choose the Move to Completed command. Now the message is moved to the Completed folder. Please note, if a message is expecting a response from you, you cannot move it to the Completed list. You must first answer that message. Close the New Message dialog and switch back to Jake's screen. Let's see another example on the floor plan. Zoom into the walls and select two of them. Right click and from the context menu, click the Reserve Selected Elements command to reserve these two walls. Right click again, select the Assigned Selected Elements to command from the context menu and choose Smith to assign the reserved elements to him. The new assignment dialog appears. As you can see from now, the Elements Assigned panel displays the number of selected elements. We can add more elements if needed. Let's select the other three walls and reserve them as before. Click the right pointing arrow at the Elements Assigned panel and choose the Attach Current Selection. As you can see, the number of assigned elements has been changed to 5. Finally, click the Assign button. Let's change back to Smith. He receives the message from Jake. By clicking the Apply View button, ArchiCAD will zoom to the saved view with the corresponding walls. Click the Show Elements button to select the five walls assigned to Smith. Click Close 
and move the message to the completed folder. Right-click on the message from Jake and choose the Move to Completed command. When opening the completed folder, we can see all the previously completed messages. In order to avoid having an endless list of completed messages, we can set an optional limit on their number in our local mailbox. To do this, let's open the Options, Work Environment, Data Safety and Integrity menu command. The Work Environment dialog appears. On the Teamwork Messaging panel, by checking the Limit Number of Completed Messages to checkbox, we can set the desired number. Click OK. Note that the oldest messages will be automatically deleted when this limit is reached.